Nissan has admitted that performance cars, muscle cars, supercars are simply better when they're electric. In fact, its performance division, its much vaunted Nismo division, its first car will be a Nissan GDR that will be electric only. In fact, it won't even be built by Nissan. It'll be built by Nismo and it will be the future of supercars with a solid state battery and well over 1000 horsepower. The next Nissan GDR will very likely be made by Nismo and be all electric. In fact, Nismo's first ever car that they build will be fully electric. And what does this say? You know what my friends, this signifies? This signifies the fact that the future of performance cars, the future of Nismo is fully electric. Now please, please share this, share this video with all your gasoline, Nissan GDR loving friends, shove it right in their face. It's gonna be hilarious. I'd love to see their responses when they learn that the next GDR will be fully electric. They're gonna be stewing. They're gonna be, they're gonna have visceral reactions. They're gonna be going wild. It's gonna be rampages. No, I'm exaggerating, but you get my point. It would be kind of amusing to see their reactions. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. On the Electric Viking, my name is Sam Evans. Great to see you tuning in. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. Also, if you'd like to become a YouTube member, I'll put a link there as well. YouTube members do get to see some of our videos in advance, a few days in advance. And we do have a few videos that are YouTube member exclusive only as well. Nissan or Nismo are preparing a high performance electric car. The Japanese manufacturer is preparing to launch a high performance EV developed by the company's Nismo division. In fact, Nismo are basically building the car themselves. And as you know, the only cars that Nismo really get involved with are the Nissan GDR when it comes to the Nissan. This is not something that's going to happen soon though. It sounds like the vehicle's not gonna hit the market until about 2028, which in my view is just way too late. That's what I think. I think Nissan, I think Nissan are way too late to this party. You probably heard the news within the last 24 hours. Nissan wanted to use Renault's technology in its EVs. It's basically admitted the fact that Renault is further ahead of them in terms of their electric vehicle technology, even their battery technology, they're saying Nissan wants it. Nissan said, yeah, we wanna have it. Sort of a verbal agreement that this would happen when they actually went to sign contracts and get the work done. Well, it turned out that, um, yeah, Renault said, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, we're part of an alliance, but um, no, you can go away. We don't wanna share it with you, but that's what it sounds like. Anyway, anyway, it fell through. Nissan's just gonna to have to rely on their own electric vehicle technology, which to be frank, they haven't done much. That's the truth. Look at the Nissan Leaf, barely changed in 10 years. Yeah, it's slightly improved, but it's a lot like Jaguar's EV. Nothing has really changed for both those brands, both those cars. And it's one of the reasons why their sales are flopping really, really badly. Now the new model, this new electric Nismo, will not be a tuned version with better specifications of a Nissan Series Electric, but will be developed from scratch by a Nismo, the Japanese manufacturer's high performance vehicle division. It's pretty clear this will be the new Nismo GDR, basically a new version of the Nissan GDR. Now I play the game Gran Turismo every now and again. I like a bit of fun. There's actually electric cars on there too, which are a bit of fun to drive. And on the game, you've got to go through this little section where it says the Nissan, the next Nissan GDR will be coming out soon. This game was, <laughs> it was launched a year ago, right? And it was referencing the fact that the last Nissan GDR was built a long time ago. The reality is the gap between the last Nissan GDR being built and this new model coming out will be 20 years. 20 years, that's a big gap. Being a long-term project, there's not much information available at the moment. You'd think that 20 years would be long enough, but um, it's not. In any case, it has been the head of the Nismo division himself, Takeo Katagiri, who has confirmed that this new model is on the way and will be a reality. In statements made to the media, Katagiri has highlighted the importance of the European market for Nismo. And although he has not revealed specific details about a launch date or its technical specifications, he has asked all fans and potential customers of the Nismo vehicles division of high performance Nissans to have patience. There will be electric cars under the Nismo sub-brand in the market, he's assured. Basically, that's all that they're gonna make. They're not focusing on gasoline powered vehicles, which is a smart move. But there's one good thing coming. It will have the latest in battery technology. I believe that Nismo is planning on using solid state batteries. Why do I say that? Well, Nissan is saying they're gonna have solid state batteries in their cars from 2026 to 2028. Now, I believe that may not happen, but that's what they are planning on. They're planning on using a solid state battery in the new 
Nismo electric GDR. Now, if that does happen, this will absolutely destroy the old Nissan Nismo GDR. Now, that was not an expense. That's not a cheap car. I mean, you're looking at, you know, more than 300,000 Australian dollars. I'm not sure what they were priced in the US, but they were very expensive. But this thing is going to absolutely destroy that old Nissan GDR, which was a pretty impressive and pretty damn good car. But in comparison, with a solid state battery and new electric motors, say it has four electric motors, two at the back, two at the front, it could easily have well over 1,200 horsepower. I believe the reason Nismo are holding off making this car within the next few years is because their solid state batteries are not quite ready yet. They need those batteries to be ready so that they can have a car which they believe actually meets that supercar tag. In the past, Nissan has shown its willingness to market new electric models with this new battery technology, with 2028 being the year in which the first of these electric models see the light of day and see solid state battery technology. Having one of these solid state battery packs for a high performance electric model would therefore mean this car could have well over a thousand kilometers or 600 miles of range, along with insane performance. Earlier this year, Nissan released some images of its max out prototype, which are precisely what you can see here. It is a two door electric roadster with which the Japanese manufacturer intended to make it clear it was also working on the development of vehicles belonging to other market segments, apart from the most in demand SUVs and urban vehicles. Now, I find it interesting and kind of ironic that Nismo's first ever car will be fully electric. I mean, this is basically the AMG division of Nissan saying to the world, the future of supercars is electric. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye-bye.